everyone, welcome back to Royal Ray Cleaning. Today, we're going to be making the crafts out of toy paper rolls. And we're going to be using all of these craft supplies to decorate it. And let's go ahead and get started. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, I know that there are a lot of you who are home right now with your kids and maybe it's a little bit out of the ordinary for you. So my kids and I wanted to put together this video to give you some craft ideas. We tried to use supplies that you can find in your homes. Hopefully you'll have everything you need to make these crafts or you'll be able to substitute something for them. We hope you enjoy today's video and thank you all so much for watching. First, we're going to be making waste cards out of toy paper rolls. You're going to need a toilet paper roll for each of the kids, some construction paper, any colors are fine, some markers, some glue, we're going to use glue sticks, and then you'll need some of these little brads. If you don't have these, that's fine. These just make it so that the tires can move. So if you don't have them, you'll just have to glue on your tires. To cover the roll with construction paper, I made two lines with how long the roll was, and I just used another straight edge in order to trace that across so that my daughter could cut it out herself. And then I went ahead and traced and cut out my son's paper for his toilet paper roll. Once you cut out the paper, wrap it around your toilet paper roll and use tape to keep it still. Next, we're going to make some tires. So use a black construction paper piece. We trace around the end of the toilet paper roll to cut out the circles for the tiles. If your kids aren't good with scissors and cutting out shapes, you could always pre-cut out some of these shapes and then set them all out on the table so that your kids could assemble these cars by themselves without you needing to be there to help them. I also used a smaller tape piece so I could trace out some smaller circles. These are for the hubcap area of those tires and they're just a little bit smaller than what the black circles are. And I traced out four of them and then folded over the paper so I could cut them out two at a time. Next, we used glue and we glued the white circles onto the center of the black circles. After the two circles for the tires were glued together, we added the brads to the center of each of them. And this wasn't too hard to do. My daughter was able to do it herself. She's almost seven, so I did it for my son, but he was able to do one himself as well. We used a hole punch to add four holes onto the toy paper roll for the tiles. We used the brads to hold our tiles in place on our cars. If your kids want an opening on the top of their car, this is probably something you should do as a parent. It was a little bit hard to get my scissors through there. I just cut out a little rectangle shape first and then I folded back the car so it looked like there was a seat on the top of the car. Your kids can then use any decorations they want to add onto their car. Scrap pieces of paper, stickers would be fun. They could also just use markers and draw on the side of their cars if they would like as well. My son added a number five to his race car and then my daughter wanted a heart so I was showing her here how to cut out a heart from a folded piece of paper. Next, we're going to be making toilet paper wool robots.
For this robot, you're going to need some toilet paper rolls again. You'll need some aluminum foil. I went ahead and pre-cut out some shapes in a few different sizes for the kids. There's markers, pipe cleaners, and popsicle sticks are a good idea as well. I pulled off a sheet of aluminum foil for each of the kids long enough to go along their toilet paper roll and then each of them rolled up their toilet paper roll in the aluminum foil. I did have to help them fix it a little bit because it wasn't quite tight enough. And then you just fold the ends of the aluminum foil into your roll. This is a simple craft. You can use your shapes to decorate your robot however you want. We used glue sticks to add the shapes onto the robots. They didn't stick super well, so just make sure you use plenty of glue on your shapes. I cut out two different sizes of squares, triangles, and circles, and then the kids can use these to cut smaller triangles. They can cut the squares in half to make rectangles or the circles in half to make half circles and then use them however they want on their robots. We also used the hole punch a little bit to make the center of the eye on my daughter's robot there. She tried cutting out a smaller circle and then I said, just use this hole punch. This will work great for tiny circles. So you could cut out tiny circles as well with the hole punch and your kids could add those onto their robot as buttons on the front of the robot. Acts a grown-up when you're ready to add arms to your robot. I poked a hole with the scissors in each side of the toilet paper rolls, and then my son added popsicle sticks for the arms of his robot. And here his robot is waving at you. And then my daughter, she used a pipe cleaner. We cut it in half. I added holes to the side and then she pushed those through and folded them over for the arms of her robot. And here her robot is waving at you. Our last project today is a pair of binoculars. You'll need two toilet paper rolls for each of your binoculars and we traced how long they were on a piece of paper and then I traced where my daughter needed to cut so we could cut out two pieces of matching paper, one for each of your toilet paper rolls. After we cut the paper, we wrapped it around a toilet paper roll and we taped it in place. We repeated this for both of our toilet paper rolls that we would need for our binoculars. Next, we cut a paper to wrap around our toilet paper rolls to hold them together. We glued these in place at first, but then we ended up needing to tape them down anyways. So we just added tape to the bottom of these to hold the paper around. Now your binoculars are held together. Next, we're going to add a string. We cut off a string that was long enough so that it could slip over the kids' heads and hang around their neck. And then we used a hole punch to cut a hole in each side of the binoculars and then tied the string in place. You could also decorate these binoculars with any stickers or use markers and add your kids' names to them. Thank you all so much for joining us for today's video. If you put together one of these crafts with your kids, my kids would love to see a picture of it. Please share it with us over on Facebook or on Instagram. You can share it in a message or you can also share it with us by hashtagging while you are cleaning. You'll find the links to my Instagram and Facebook down in the description box. 
We hope you enjoyed this day's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.